Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi and welcome to this video. Thank you for dropping by today. I hope this finds you well. This is the lovely little thank you card I have to share with you. It's using the Pansy Patch stamp set and it's a really simple card and it's actually one we made in March on a March Car Club that I run here in Lincoln in the UK and it was loved by all and I really just love it. It's just a very simple card but I do love flowers and I'm really looking forward to them now in the spring See, having seen all the flowers has been lovely okay so on my original for my pansy I used some purple so I used Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape this time I think I'm going to change it up a bit and I'm going to use these two together Fresh Freesia and Bubble Bath so my stamp set as I said is this one pansy patch I'm using quite a few bits from here so I've got my simple chamois here so I can clean up as I go along I'm going to start off with my lighter colour which is bubble bath and I'm just going to ink this up nicely the ink pad is still nice and juicy unlike some of my others that I really need to re-ink and I never get around to doing it so let's put that there Give it a good press down. Lovely. Clean up our stamp. And then we're going to take the next layering piece because this is a two step stamping, as we call it. So close up bubble bath. And I'm going to open fresh freesia. This is going to be my layering piece. So ink this up nicely. Now you need to really get over the stamps so that you can see exactly where to um, position everything. You could use a stamp positioner for this as well, but you can do it just as well using your blocks. But just take your time to figure out your orientation and get right over the stamp. So let's try and do that looks about okay yeah that will do so I'm sorry if my head was in the camera but that's the reason you really do need to get over that stamp so that you can see right through it to be able to get the layers okay these pieces are coming unstuck now our next layering piece uh, I don't think I need such a big block for this piece. Let's get a smaller one out like this. Uh, close up that one there. And whoops. I'm going to bring in some crushed curry. And I'm just going to ink this up nicely. And you can actually use your block before you even put it in. Just to see in your mind like there where it's going to layer in and that can just help you get things properly aligned up there we have isn't that pretty okay squeaky squeaky clean okay now we're going to take our next little piece that's here And I'm just seeing if I've got a smaller block than this. Oh, that's the same size. Will this one do? Yeah. Trying to do the smallest block size that you have for something is usually quite useful because that way there's less chance of over stamping from ink on your block. So this time I'm going to use a little bit of black. Um, actually, I'm not. Tell a lie. In my original, I did use black, but I think this time I'm going to go in with some very dark, gorgeous grape, and we're going to see how that looks. Okay, and there again, just get things lined up as you want. There we are. That actually looks good. And 
and then the last little piece is a tiny piece here and it's just a you're going to go in again with some yellow I'm just using again the crushed curry and putting the centre in and there we have our little pansy where did that go? it's a very small piece so don't lose that piece very easy to lose and then I'm going to go in with some old olive now for our stem so move that aside bring in a block move this up nicely and just put the stem wherever you want that will do fine there we go okay now we're going to go with our leaves We've got two leaf pieces here. I'm going to do this one first, and for this, I'm actually going to stamp off. I don't want it to be so dark. So I'm going to stamp off like that, and then I'm going to decide where I want it. That will do fine, and then clean that up. And you don't need lots of blocks, as you can see. If you just clean up between your blocks, between uses it's perfectly fine and this is the beauty of having your grid paper so that you can stamp off and do such things easily it's your practice paper as i call it okay and now we're going to go in with our little layering pieces here and i'm going to go in this time with some mossy meadow so Ink this up. My mossy meadow definitely does need to be re-inked. And there again, just get over the stamp so you can see exactly what you're doing. And there you've got your layering piece. And then we're going to just add a bit here. There's our merry piece and look at that, isn't that pretty? Lovely little pansy. That's pretty flowers, pansies. Okay, let's close up her ring pad before we put something in it because it is very easy to stick your elbow or your, your project in it. That's what we have so far. Now I'm going to cut this out using some matching dies. Well, not matching dies, but I'm going to use these dies. These are the scalloped contour dies. And I'm going to use the smaller one here to cut up my pansy to give it a frame. And then I've got here some of the perennial lavender designer shibis paper. And I'm going to cut out a piece here. That's why I wanted to have purple in the centre because it'll match this piece here. So I'm going to put that through the die cutting machine and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so everything's been die cut out. Now, one thing I did forget to stamp was the sentiment. It's from the same stamp set. It's going to say thank you. So I'm going to stamp this in gorgeous grape again. I'm just going to ink that up nicely. And I'm just going to stamp it somewhere right around there. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So close that up. Our card base is thick basic white, so that's a standard A6 card base. That's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. And then we're going to stick this piece of perennial lavender to our card base. I'm just going to try and center it top to bottom and left to right. Something like that will do. And then we're going to have a little image, a focal image here in the centre. Like that. Isn't that pretty? And then some finishing touches. I'm going to use some of these purple shimmer gems. And I'm going to see which colour do I want. Um... 
think I'm going to go with a dark colour again because it matches. So I'm just going to put a few. I'm going to keep it on this diagonal hip because that's where my sentiment is. Maybe there. Yeah, enough as good as a feast. So there we have our two little pansies. You can tell me which colour version you like, A or B. If you want any more information about the project, the supply list, the measurements, etc., it's all on the blog post on my website. And the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below. So thank you again for watching. And in until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.